In other news, I think we can spill the beans now. Hannah's pregnant. Oh my gosh, that feels crazy to say. We've actually known that Hannah's pregnant since January, so it's been a little secret we've been sitting on as a family. Um, and get ready for this. Hannah is pregnant with twins. Crazy. So, lots of stuff going on behind the scenes in the Wilburn family. We find out, she just did her blood test yesterday to find out if, um, or to, well, it's like genetic testing to see, make sure like they're healthy and everything. Um, but also will tell us the gender, hopefully. Hannah's not sure how she wants to do um, like gender reveal or anything. So that is what's going on here. Very, very exciting. Um, and also, I feel like it's going to make this year feel so much longer. I feel like I've known this information now for forever. And we're still only like two months into this ride. So, um, but she will be 12 weeks this coming Monday. So like three days from now. So, um, very exciting. She's been very sick. You know, I should ask her to tell you how she feels um how she's been feeling so we'll see i'm pretty excited a little two for one special <laughs> okay for the vlog <laughs> um i said i would ask how you were feeling like two weeks ago and then i never physically did. yeah have... i don't feel pregnant well i am Hannah's 13 weeks and five Almost days 14 weeks if it... 14 monday, monday counts 14 weeks Here's our inspiration. There are lemons Size and mandarin lemons. oranges next week. Mandarin oranges? Yeah. Isn't a lemon? Oh, and mandarin oranges. Is this a mandarin orange? I think I have a clementine. Oh, uh, me too. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is mandarin. I feel like a lemon is bigger than that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Two of them. Hannah's pretty sick. Yeah. But now I'm not. So right now I'm craving pickles. Yeah. I could eat pickles all day long. Did you see the thing where someone put like scrambled eggs on a pickle? <laughs> Not that much. Anything you want to say for posterity? Do they know the genders in this vlog? Not yet. But, but we know. We all know. Watch for 10 more minutes and you'll know too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bye. I put double layers of pickles on my burger yesterday. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll include, I'll show you, um, there, there aren't any videos of like her telling us or anything, but there are videos of her telling us that it's twins. Um, I only have a video of like my reaction and then Connor's reaction. So I will include those here. Oh, What the hell? Turn it over. It looks like a who. <laughs> <laughs> With his nose. Turn it. This way? Oh, no. Did they confirm nine weeks? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're fucking kidding. <laughs> uh, wait, why did we know this? I don't oh, know! Fucking I've been this? joking about it for three weeks. Oh my god. We Hello. How was it? Can you see it? Yeah. That's exciting. Can you tell what it is? No. There's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me find the... <laughs> It's baby A and baby B. <laughs> I will say I um, understood it quicker than Connor because when she showed me the picture, I could see the two. Oh, and for any other twin connoisseurs out there who who know your twin language, they're die die twins, which means they have their own amniotic sacs and their own placentas, which is the safest way for them to be. 
um, be had, be, be growing. Um, so that's good news. However, comma, that also means they are way more likely to be fraternal twins, which is fine. It's whatever. Um, but very interesting scientific data to think about. So I, I've learned a lot of information about twins in the last couple of weeks. Um, so that has been fun. Depending on what we do for gender reveal, I will also perhaps include that now. Okay, this just in, the results. Also, we're in the middle of about to eat dinner. Hannah just brought me her phone. You your results? Would you, would you like to learn the fetal sex? Please select whether you would like to include fetal sex of your baby in your results. Yes. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure there's like a video tutorial for this that I have to do. I can give you your panorama results and explain what they mean for you and your pregnancy. When getting information about your pregnancy, it can be helpful to be with a partner. Ooh, kind of makes me nervous. Let's begin. Panorama is a screening test to find out if pregnancy is at higher risk. Results may come back as low or high. Rarely come back as no results. Are you ready to review? Yes. Oh, that kind of makes me nervous. Your report will have your results for twin pregnancy. There will be result for twin A and B. If your healthcare provider chose to have gender reported, you'll be able to see if you're having two boys, two girls, or a boy and a girl. You can choose to hide your baby's sex in a report. Your report will also tell you if your twins are identical or fraternal. Okay. Your next best steps are to speak with your healthcare provider. Oh, view my results, okay. Don't say it out loud. We know what they are, we know what they are. See that? Mm -hmm. Low risk, by the way. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I need a fucking fresco after seeing those results. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> is that both of them then? Okay, cut the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Are we rolling? Action. As you can see, we are up before the sun to start working on the cakes. We've got a trusty gluten-free confetti. Both cakes will in fact be GF. And here I am trying my hand for the first time at baking and decorating cakes. I've, I've baked many a cake in my day. However, comma, I have never done like a full like tiered cake situation mm -hmm. and I'm in charge of the information that we know so I've got to are you putting that piece of paper down in the middle of it yes so while I've never done this before I've watched many a video on this in my day in a way it's like I've been preparing for this my whole life and then you write down what it is down there no I don't know what's happening. <laughs> this is just to make sure that it doesn't stick when you mm -hmm. have to take it out at the end. It's a little big. I'm really hoping... I have two boxes of what cake... What kind of pizza are we getting tonight? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have two boxes of cake mix, um, but I kind of think I'll only need one. This is one. This is one cake. Yeah. And then this is baby B cake. You know what I mean? So oh. I feel... You're making two tier... I'm making four of these. That's why I'm up so early is because what I know also is that you need a lot of time for this because like you can't decorate them 
until they're all the way cooled down. Mm -hmm. So we're up before the sun. How are you gonna make, what's the reveal? The reveal, so I'm gonna decorate the outside with white icing, but the inside will be the color of the gender icing. The inside like cake? Inside icing. Oh. I'm inquisitive. <laughs> All right. We'll see how this goes. Okay, now this is what I wanted. I needed some good lift on here because they really only barely even filled them halfway. You know, they're already pulling from the sides a little. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to let them cool in the pan. And maybe I will do that for like 20 minutes or something. But then I might just flip them out. But they're already, it already looks like they're separated from the sides, so. Okay, we're back. I just had to run to mom's house and party source to drop off decorations for Jack. Um, I have cleaned my surface and now I'm going to level the cakes. I'm pretty nervous about this. The thing that's unique about this situation is that it really doesn't matter what the cakes taste like. I mean, ideally it's dece, but um, ultimately we just want them to look good, right? I mean, the cake's gluten-free. It's not gonna be very good to begin with, so. Um, they're pretty moist, not like super crumbly, so I feel like that's a good sign. Um, also have less cake than I thought that I would on these second ones. I didn't distribute the batter perfectly. Okay, so let's see. This one, I could probably cut like, oh geez. Yeah, these are all kinds of different. Oh, I don't want them to be crooked. They're like a little over an inch. So let's say this is an inch and a quarter. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. I'm scared, but I think I know what I need to do. So far, they're looking pretty decent. Um, they're shorter than I thought they would be. However, I also think that I will be putting in like a decent amount of icing between all the layers. So I think that will be okay. Mm. I'm gonna throw these in the fridge while I make the buttercream because I'm pretty sure that if they are cold, they're easier to manipulate or like handle, I guess. I really wish that I had like the turntable thing, but at the same time, that might be above my like expertise level. So maybe it's a good thing I don't have it. Don't have one of those. I wonder if my mom has one, maybe. Okay, so throwing these into the fridge, I did get my mom's stand mixer, which is gonna save me some elbow grease. They are really, really soft and sensitive. So I'm kind of scared to like be too uh, aggressive with them. Let's see. I think this is the one that we want. Also, I believe like, so these are the tops. I believe we save these in case I have to like plug any holes with my not super straight um, leveling technique. Oh, great. On the bright side, I, um, did remember to take my butter out and bring it to room temp, so it's been out for a couple hours now. I 
hooks on the right way. Well, it looks like it is. Am I doing something wrong? problem. Ah, got it. Okay. Supremo! Woohoo! I used all of it for the colored icing um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and make a double batch this time because while I think that one batch oh maybe I should do a half a one and a half hmm. um, while I think that one batch would probably be enough I feel like I'd have to be really like preserving it. I feel like one and a half might be like perfect. I'm doing two. I'm, I don't want to have to make more. This way I definitely know I will have enough and then if I have extra Hannah will eat it so it will work out. <laughs> Double batch might have been a little too much. There's powdered sugar everywhere. <laughs> I also was supposed to put seven cups of powdered sugar in, but I lost count at some point, so I don't actually know how much I put in there. All right, pie bin bags are ready. We have one for writing baby A and baby B on top. Hopefully my calligraphy skills will come in handy. One for piping, like a nice border. Hopefully that's enough for both. And then this is for actually like filling the whole thing. Um, we probably have like about this much left in here. So maybe I should be a little sparing. Okay, so here is what I'm thinking. Since I don't have a cake spinning thing, um, I'm thinking I'll put the cake, oh, I'm really scared to drop it. Um, thinking I'll just put the cake on top of here and then 
boom, boom, boom. I feel like that will work. You know, I was prepared to tape it down. I don't know that I'll have to though. It seems like it holds its own weight pretty well. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it just in case. Better safe than sorry here, I believe. My idea is to do the top and make sure that I can get it really flat and nice. And then if I can, commit to trying to ice the sides. I've crafted a um, an icing scraper, so hopefully I can get it nice and flat. Hopefully none of the color pops through. Wish me luck. gosh oh the kitchen is in disarray oh cake decorating is hard work but they i think turned out really good got baby a and baby b i think that they'll look really cute next to each other on the table i like i was trying to figure out how to put baby on there but i don't have the skills for that so now I think that these, I think they go together like this. And it almost kind of looks like, um, like blocks, like baby blocks. Now, oh, also I tried to do um, gold. Glad I didn't commit to that because I messed up a couple of times. Also, wear, gold wear, that's yellow. Um, but I messed up a couple of times, but because it was just white, and then I chilled the cake. I could just scrape it off. Um, I literally need to head over to mom's now. Um, my back hurts. <laughs> I think the outfit that I want is upstairs. All right, I think I'm gonna roll my back out for a minute and then get dressed and head over and make sure that Jack has appropriately decorated. Cakes are en route. Um, is this unsanitary? We made it to mom's. Toad ally. Here, check out Jack's handiwork. Oh, and Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Marie also actually knows what the babies are. She can smell it. She's clairvoyant. Mm -hmm. Um, so Jack did the decor. I did give him the vision for it, but <laughs> came together. Lovely. Excuse me. Guess what? Guess what else? Ah! The cake transfer. Oh. And Jude is here. He doesn't know. He's a boy. Cakes are here. Transport went well. I was pretty nervous about it. All right. Maria. I'm going to go take a nap until everyone else gets here. Do you want a Coke? No, I want a nap. You don't want a Coca-Cola from McDonald's? Oh. What if we went together and got a Coca-Cola? I don't want to go together. Well, what if... What, girl, it'll take five minutes and then you can come take a nap. I have to take a nap yeah, now. So good. I have to take a nap immediately. Like, yeah. Actually, you know what? Marie, quit playing with the confetti. I changed my mind. Because Marie is semi-blind. I still have half a Dr. Pepper. In the oh, okay. Well, what am I, a chopped liver? Okay, everybody is on their way. Um, the cakes look yellow in this lighting, but I swear they're not. <laughs> That's a little more accurate. Cutie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. funny. Hey guys. Oh, it looks like it's Are there you? <laughs> she's definitely yeah, showing. Yeah, she does She's lying to herself that she's not. The doctor said her uterus is high. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my uterus, guys. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah, it's rolling. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Is everybody ready? <laughs> I think so. Yay. Baby A. 
Baby A. I'm so. nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's in the icing. Ah. <laughs> 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 Clairvoyant by nature. Now he did the cakes. <laughs> <laughs> 